I think that this anime can be accurately described as Acoustic Demon Lord Rises Up Elf Slave. Or at least that's what it seemed like in the trailer. It seems kind of interesting. It seems like there's some hype moments in terms of the action, but there's also uh, uh, the core of the show is like the romance between these two, right? Maybe there's a lot of funny moments too. Let's begin today's reaction. A CGI castle. He's a sorcerer. The people hate him. Dramatic lightning. Elf bride? Are we ain't killing you? Then the enemy would end. R relax, relax. Because you're hated. Make an off base joke saying, I'm gonna fucking kill you in bed tonight. How do you talk to a girl that you like? <laughs> Crack a fucking joke? I don't fucking know! First love is like a nasty disease that everyone catches <laughs> once. <laughs> Mayas. <laughs> Just fucking... Oh, oh. oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Surely it's not that kind of show, right? But this isn't the kind of assault you're hoping- That's a crazy line. That is an insane fucking line! <laughs> what she's not hoping for is sexual assault. That's, not the ins That's crazy! That's crazy! I shouldn't be laughing at this! Why are you guys fucking laughing at this, bro? Catalyst. Sorcerer. Hmm. I think the implication there in that Zagai is saving her, right? After I got your face, I'll treat your body real nice. But this guy takes on other people's faces so he can wear it as like a disguise, right? But then, he's basically saying, after I skin your face, I will then treat your body. This dude's fuck. Like, listen, listen, the order of operations, I should not be here to give him advice on how you should do things. But I feel like, you know, this order is... Hello. It's our yard? Bro's talking like Saitama from One Punch Man. You think this guy fucking knows the secrets? Bro, Zagan's probably like OG sorcerer. You did that in front of the girl. She's traumatized forever, bro. This is the worst fucking day for her. Some dude fucking without a face just shows up and starts saying, I'm gonna try. That's not the assault you were looking for. And then fucking crushes his head like a tomato in front, splurts the fucking juice on her face, and she passes out. This is the worst fucking day for her. Cover that shit up. Come on, man. Memory. Rewound cycle? Whoa, and even the clothes. Rewa and he's back too then. Oh, okay. That's kind of cracked. What? What did you say? All that really does is put everything back where it was. So, he's still dead. But it just reverts the object back. Okay. I'm like, did you just revive him? But no. She from the church? The church is usually evil, right? Okay, so the apostles of God, the church people, are the enemies of all sorcerers. I'm just gonna assume that the church people are evil. This girl is probably misguided. Wait, you're just gonna pour her in the middle of a fucking road? Who doing this? That's a 
that's the guy we were fighting in the opening. Hold up. <laughs> you look like shit as you, you too, bro. Okay, this is the guy that we were fighting in the opening, right? Or the opening fucking spoiled it, and he's actually evil. God damn it. The Majutsu, the sorcery in this world, bro. And that is Virvel. Oh my god, it, it is Virvel's voice actor, isn't it? I, I I was like, this sounds fucking familiar. Hold up a second. Yo, yeah. But like, I guess sorcerers in this world are very um cruel, right? Everything is for the pursuit of knowledge. Humans, fuck them. They can be used as sacrifices, sorcery. You can do pretty much whatever you want, it seems like. Is that what the guy was talking about the catalyst before too? Right? The catalyst to enhance the sorcery or some shit? The flank sorcery? So like, his goal is he didn't want to be suspicious? Because the church would blame him? So the girl just got ported to a random place on the street, right? What if he like dropped her off in the fucking highway and a fucking horse carriage just runs over her? You can just do that? Huh. Limit about a thousand years. That's his lifespan? That's his lifespan? So he's so, so Barbatros, or whatever this guy's name is, he intentionally fucking casts adrenaline magic on his brain to get more stimulated. He's doing like body modifications. Manipulating the body is fundamental for sorcery. It really keeps them healthy and long lived. Manipulating the body makes sure you live for a thousand years. Yeah. Okay. Arc demons, Marco, whatever, dead. Who killed them? Well, Mao is demon lord, right? But they're calling it Arc demons in this translation. Okay. Earning that title gets you an incredible amount of mana. So it sounds like mana is not something you're necessarily born with because it sounds like you're granted that title and then it gets you that much mana. Okay, I'm trying to understand like the mechanics of this world and how like different energy resources and stuff like that work. You can command. There are 13 arc demons. Longest lived. We've been around for a millennium. God damn it. I don't know what how long a millennium is. Millennium on Google. Millennium is uh is it really one thousand years? Oh it's just one thousand years. Right, you go a century. Decade? Century? Millennium, right? You go you go ten, one hundred, one thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I I, I know they said he should be living to one thousand, but I thought maybe because he's the strongest ever that he like lives to like 10,000 or some shit, but no, 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 okay. Who killed the Arc Demon, though? Auction. Elf slave deal. So, okay, so this is how we get our Elf Bride. Through a fucking yard sale. Okay. I was gonna say nothing like isekai and fucking, you know, slavery, specifically beast girls, but this is not really isekai. Oh, who are these ladies? Hold up, hold up. Hello. Hey. One on the right. Definitely one on the right. Def, definitely one on the right. What women, huh? I'm kind of interested, but they seem like more trouble than they be worth. <laughs> How old is this guy? Days? <laughs> Bro's saving himself for the elf bride, okay? He's been saving himself for someone special, but Zagan, his only pursuit in life was women. Oh, sorry, no, 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 no. Magic, magic. He's never once really thought about women like that, huh? <laughs> Oh, the, like the guy we just beat today, the flame guy. Oh, 
I mean, they're kind of saying it. So, okay. Okay. And you're right. He is a wizard sorcerer, right? That's like a virgin chart, right? If you're like, if you get past like the age of like, what is it, 50? There's a certain point when you transcend into a wizard from just a mortal being, but they're going to summon a demon. So there's like a faction that's kidnapping women and somehow this could be used to summon an actual demon, maybe. 40, I think. Why, why do you know that? Why do you know the exact breakpoint of when you ascend to true wizardry? I, I got you though, kind of. Are you my friend? I don't know. Virgin, no friends. What else? Oh, the auction, right? Looks like a Colosseum. Bald! Celebs? Kimarius, the Black Blade. Gremory, the Enchanter. Oh, you, you can enchant me all you want, Gremory. Is she from the Gremory family? Oh my goodness. Hello. I hope she, is. I hope she doesn't get fucking off screen. She's got like horns too, if you look over here. Valifor. Okay. Second names, titles. So even though he's Zagan, he must have something else on top of that, right? Zagan the Elf Slayer. I don't know. Right! They would naturally be competing to become the next Arc Demon. He's probably gonna become the Mark Demon though, huh? Some, it just makes sense that our, the main character would naturally assume that position, right? The rest of the Arc Demons debates. Barbatross. Barbatos. The Purgatory? That's his title? Sour! No title! What's, what's his fucking title gonna be? It's gonna be something so fucking stupid. It's gonna have to do with something about, like, the elf bride, right? I don't know. All, all, all of them, and yeah, he's very young too. But, like, all of their um, titles are, like, super cool, right? It's like, is it the young? Wait, wait, she, she said that um, there's, she doesn't have the title yet. It's called Zagan. He's young and without a title. So, like, what was his title be, right? It's gotta be something so funny. Because, it, 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 like, everyone else's titles are, like, the Enchantress, the Undefeated, the Purgatory. So, it's like, yeah, the Elf Rizzler, the Elf Bride. I don't know. It's gonna have to do... It's gonna be some funny title. Maybe it's, like, a little bit, like, I don't know. Something, it's gotta do with the Elf, though, huh? <laughs> so I got the Virgin! <laughs> They're really underestimating him, though. Arif! Bald. Yeah, I see your collar. That's the collar we saw in the intro scene. Elf Catalyst. Arif! The legendary wraith! <laughs> Love at first sight? What? 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 I thought you're not interested in girls, bro. What about her, bro? What? Elves are closer to gods and nature spirits than humans. Huh. Okay, elves are super important in this world. White haired elf. It's not died like mine, guys. I'm a fraud. Love slave. Damn. Uh, well, that, that's an interesting bold. But damn, I don't even know what. The, I mean, if it starts at 10,000, 1 million is a fucking huge jump, right? We don't really know the currency of this world, but if they're starting at 10,000 for something super legendary, right? 1 million immediately, boom. Damn! Bro just got enchanted by her. He wants to protect her? In a consensual nice way, right? No sorcery, just kind of protect her. <laughs> what the fuck is that face, dude? Dramatic entrance. Hello. I am your master. 
keeps her mana contained. Huh, we saw her the chain, right? Well, we, the collar's still on her, but the chain is off in the intro scene. Don't, you don't know how to remove it? I can't do it. Preserved in her natural state sounds so creepy. She sounds fucking cracked though, huh? <laughs> Bro, wording. How are you gonna act so nice and wholesome? Like, I wanna save her. I wanna protect her smile. And then suddenly... <laughs> <laughs> Them cheeks are gonna be clapping tonight! What kind of magic am I buying for? Bed magic! <laughs> Everyone, even her fucking ears twitched. What? <laughs> I mean, it's like a, I don't know, edgy teenager. Yeah, I know he's not a teenager. I don't know actually how old he is. He's supposed to be super young though, right? He's never cared about women. And now he's like, holy shit, I like girls now. So he's just, just coming off way too strong, right? The wording could definitely, you know, could be, could be altered. But I think he has good intentions. The acoustic demon lord, Riz's elf slave. What are we going to say to her, bro? The chain's off. We didn't get to see how the chain even came off. Hello. Say hello. Say arise! Yo, say arise right now. Let, let her stand up. Uh, no, no small talk. No small talk. Ohio! Up we go! Because she's supposed to clean that shit. Oh, oh, she's talking. It's He's trying to act so cool. By my saber in bed, I mean, uh... Hello? She's raising him. Or what? No, 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 Okay, the murder tools are not helping on the side. Why? Wait a minute. That's like a Jesus cross. Like, you, you, you're tied up, right? The middle is an iron, uh, iron maiden, but the, but the right is Sayo. Sayo's wooden horse. That's... From Gushing from Magical Girls. This this is the this is the OG uh what's it called? Simbi something. Simbi something. And it's 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 uh, it's 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 the wooden horse. This Sayo is fucking right. <laughs> you're not, you're not gonna... I mean he said that he needed to clean up the place, right? So it was just around. Okay. What's your name? Elf. That's what's your name? What's your name? Can, 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 can I have your number? Oh, here we go. Neferia. Wow, what a beautiful name. Nephi. Can I? He got so excited there. He got so excited at Nephi. Yo, he must. Zaka must have a family name. Give it, give it to her, right? Cursed child. Okay, first of all, for, 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 first of all, what would this even do? What is this proving? You just show me your panty color. Light pink, nice. But like, you could be lying. She probably isn't lying. But I'm just like, what's the point of the scene? Right? Because like, I'm, I'm just trying to think, like, was it necessary to declare yourself a virgin by flashing your panties? Like, like... If she wasn't a virgin, what would this look like? Do, do, do the people here wear a specific panty color to denote that they are virgins? And this is the virgin panty? What is the purpose of this panty shot? So I can farm it and just stall here and just show you guys this fucking still frame. Let's go. So is he. Great, great. Zagan's a virgin too. I feel so bad for her, bro. What has she gone through? She's gone through a fucking train back at the old Ark Demon's place, right? No, she hasn't because she's a virgin. I don't know. It sounds so cool and distant sometimes like that, yeah? I wonder. 
He did spend a million, right? He spent like a million gold something. My entire fortune. Is he broke now? Is he straight up broke? I don't know. Together, like, you know? A room? I hope Nephi chooses Zagan's place. She wouldn't. Did she want to die? That's like the expected life, right? Yeah. We don't know what that is, right? We were talking about Cursed Child stuff and then she flanced her panties and talked and said that she wasn't a virgin. I completely forgot about it, but this is a very important plot point. She's a cursed child of the elves. Why is she cursed? Zagat also doesn't have a family name. Who gave you that name? Who? Who gave you that name? Live with me. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is kind of adorable. Oh, look at that! My room. Chill the fuck out! <laughs> She's kind of funny. I'm starting to realize like this is the continuous running gag. Like every time we mention something, Nephi will figure out a way to be like, oh, this is how I die, huh? CGI rotating. I'm not sure. What does this camera work? It's kind of interesting though. Oh no, catch her! Catch! Cool scene. <laughs> he should have held up for a little bit longer. He got too startled. Ooh, that's oh he's holding her hand now. Wow. <laughs> Oh, this is a lewd handle. <laughs> Imagine he lets go and she just fucking falls down back. <laughs> what kind of room? Is it, is it big and nice or what? <gasps> not that room! Not that room! No, 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 you're not that. Okay, to be fair, this time, Nephi is right, right? There was like a mountain of skulls. Why is there a mountain of skulls there? Was he actually using it to experiment or some shit? What is it? So the invaders would land in the trap and they would die and that's what those mountains of skulls are. Okay. Previous owner? He said this stuff was because of the previous old owner? Oh my bad, my bad. I missed, I missed that line. Okay. So this mansion that he has right now had a previous owner. The previous owner did some heinous shit. That's why the torture tools were there out in the public. He didn't bother cleaning this shit because he's a fucking neat like us. <laughs> is it all clean now? <laughs> the door. <laughs> what the fuck is this fucking building made out of, dude? Everything just got incinerated. But like, the building structure is still fine. <laughs> You got nothing to fear. I, you, you just showed her fucking magic that just blew up the fucking room, bro. I feel like that magic there was more scary than the room. Duh. Yeah, make it a little bit happier. Come on. Oh, ending? No ending visuals, though? Maybe we'll save the ending reaction for next time. What are you fucking, you dumbass? You can't touch the fucking moon like what are you I'm kidding. This is a, this is this is this, well, this is this should be a sentimental moment. She somehow longs for the moon. The moon. White elf. Cursed child. What does that mean? Yo, bring the moon to her, Zagan! No! No no, you're you're not actually gonna bring down the fucking moon here, right? I just made fun of her. <laughs> anyway, let it cook. Let it cook. Maybe he's gonna actually pull the moon down. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's see. What about the moon? Why do you like it? We'll get you a new door, but. 
This is probably the best thing she's ever gotten in her life, bro. She just went fucking hollow purple in that fucking room after traumatizing her with the mountain of skulls. Aww. Oh, my heart. Oh, the diabetes. The acoustic riz. The slave riz. And that's the episode. Hey. I know that this is not our, you know, your bread and butter uh, fucking, you know, power fantasy isekai, but this is a cute, wholesome, you know, romance story in a native isekai show. I think this show has potential. It's like a rom-com. There's a lot of cool, you know, I don't know, demon lord mechanic stuff that we're so familiar in isekai. And the whole funny relationship, this dynamic between these two awkward motherfuckers that are going to try to find love with each other. And I think it's going to make for a pretty good show. If you guys enjoy it, we'll keep watching it. If we don't, we gotta move on, but hey, give it a chance. I feel like this is like pretty damn good. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist here for more content. And until next time, take care.